uh, YouTube where I'm going to uh, demonstrate the proper way of baby's bath. Now, first of all, you have to check the doctor's order if the baby is in the nursery, but at home you can uh, check it uh, right away with your uh, thermometer. We have to check the temperature of your baby to know if your baby is well or not. So when you will, uh, when the result of your temperature is high or elevated, so it means your baby is having fever, then you don't have to bath the baby. Now, let the mother participate in the bathing, especially first time mother who don't know how to bath the baby. So you have to uh, ask the mother to participate in bathing the baby. Now you bring all the materials to the bedside, explain the procedure to the mother, and wash your hands. Now the first thing that you have to do is to swaddle your baby. But this time I have to undress my baby first, but keep the diaper. Okay, so you have to uh, keep the diaper because uh, while bathing, the baby sometimes pee or pass tubes. So uh, we are protected with the diaper. So now I undress my baby, but I have to uh, swaddle my baby to keep it uh, uh, free from chills because babies uh, are easily to get cold. Okay, so you have to swaddle this way. Okay, place this under to secure the baby's uh, swaddle cloth. Then you have to uh, place this under, okay? And then you have to wrap it to the other side. So now your baby is now swaddled. So the first thing that you Okay, now your baby is already carrying a football hold, okay, uh, supported under your arm and your head is supporting the head and neck, okay, your thumb is covering the ear and the second finger is covering the other ear. Now you have to put four cotton balls in water but make sure your water is warm. You can test it with your backside of your palm or with your elbow. Now we have to first start from the eyes. Okay, uh, get the excess water. Start from inner to outer condos, then discard. Now get another cotton ball, then clean the other ear from inner condos to the outside, discard. The third cotton ball we have to. Clean the face with the S direction. Discard. The last cotton ball we have to use is from the other side of the face. Okay, making an S. Back to the ears, discard. Okay. Okay. The next is cleaning or washing the hair. So we have to wash the hair. Then apply shampoo. This is our baby shampoo. Apply, then uh, brush it gently until the back of the head then you have to rinse it then get uh, go to another uh, basin with water then rinse it thoroughly okay also at the back of the head now place the baby in a clean towel okay this time you have to unwrap your baby and you can see this triangle uh, part of the swaddle cloth you have to remove and pat your baby's head gently. Keep it dry. Now this time you have to remove the diaper. Okay? Removing the diaper, you have also to see if the baby has a uh, stool. Then you have to clean first before bathing the body of the baby. Then body of the baby also including the back so you have to support the baby when you roll the your baby on the sides okay and also the legs okay then get your liquid soap so this is your liquid soap then apply soap on the baby's body but don't apply soap on the hands because sometimes while bathing baby's hand is uh, uh, putting on her mouth so you have to prevent that. Okay, 
and again you have also to apply soap at the back of the baby supporting the baby's body okay now we have to rinse your baby okay you have to support the head and one hand at the bottoms and back of the baby then place them on the basin okay so you have to concentrate on the baby's uh, skin folds okay, to remove those excess soap and you have also to clean the back of the baby okay so get another basin and you have to rinse it thoroughly okay so that uh, the soap is uh, totally removed on the baby's body okay and this time you have to okay support the baby's body again buttocks and the head and place it in a new towel okay clean towel then pat it dry so don't rub the baby's body because baby skin are so sensitive okay so just pat it and dry including the back so next is bath quickly but gently, okay? Because baby can easily get cold. Now this time, because if the umbilicus is not yet fully healed and umbilicus is still there, so you have to expose the umbilicus by folding the diaper down, okay? We have to keep the, this uh, exposed. To the air so that it will dry easily so don't cover your own beliefs. okay now you have to get one cotton ball okay um wet it with your 70 percent alcohol and you have to clean it from inside to the outside part of your baby's on the and okay, then discard so this time you get your new uh, dress baby's dress and we have to uh, on the baby's uh, shoulder okay sleeves i mean okay and the other sleeve okay you can uh, make it fast but gen gentle okay and you have to fasten in the bottoms okay under now after you have fastened all the bottoms next is you have to swaddle your baby but this time you have to include the baby's head so what i'm going to do is though it's there are swaddle cloth with hood but i prefer to swaddle my baby without the hood but I'm using this uh, kind of uh, technique now I have then bring this uh, cloth to the left side of the baby and again place this under the baby's back okay to secure then place this up okay again you have to place it under okay the baby's uh, neck and bring this cloth towards the towards the right side of the baby okay so now your baby is wrapped okay neatly wrapped so this is your baby now the next uh, uh, way to keep the babies uh, more comfortable is to give them milk now if mother is breastfeeding so you have to ask the mother to clean the breast okay and uh, the, uh, the mother should clean not only the nipple but also the arena okay with uh, warm water okay then after cleaning that's the time you handle this baby to the mother but if the maybe mother is having the formula okay after preparing the formula don't shake like this because it creates more bubbles and baby is uh, sucking not only the milk but also the air okay and we're preventing a uh, baby to have gas pain or abdominal pain so you just 
sprawl the milk or the bottle between your palm. Okay? Then, this time you have to give the baby and cradle the baby for comfort. And you can interact, interact with the baby while you're feeding the baby. Then after that, after the baby's consumed her milk, so this time you have to burp your baby. Okay, place it that way. But you have to place uh, another cloth or a uh, swaddle cloth here so that your baby will be protected. Pat it a little bit. Okay, and you have to do mouth care. So doing your mouth care in water and uh, a piece of cloth, moisten it, then rub it in your small finger. This is your small finger since the baby's mouth is small. So you have to clean the baby's mouth, including that tongue. Okay, after feeding once in a day. Okay, don't clean the baby's mouth right away after feeding because uh, the baby might vomit. Okay, and this time the baby can sleep soundly. Thank you.